Hello, today's video is all about non-verbal reasoning questions. We have already seen three types of non-verbal reasoning questions. Check out those videos in the description box below. In today's video, we will look into another type called find the similar figure. We will be looking at two examples and let's move on. Number one. This is your first question. If you want to try on your own, please pause the video to try. Else, please continue watching. Alright, first let's understand the layout of the question. As you can see, there is a solid line in the middle. And to the left is the question. So this is the question. And to the right, you have the answer options from A to E. You have five options to choose from. And you need to find a similar figure like these two from these options. Alright. Okay, so what do you understand from this abstract figure? Looks like these two figures have three separate parts. As you can see, there is a black line, all right? And you have one dotted line and there is another thin line with a crescent at the end, okay? So there are three separate lines that altogether form one shape. So we need to find a similar shape like these. And in the second figure, here also you can see, see the same black line and another dotted line and as well as a thin line with a crescent. So the, as you can see from the option D, it doesn't fit because only the thin line should be with the crescent. The dotted line should not be with the crescent and the thin line should be in the middle of the crescent. All right. So we should look for the same size, same shape as well and the same appearance as well. Okay. So when you look at that, the thin line should be in between the thin line should be in between the crescent okay but here it is in the end of the crescent so we can rule out this option d let's move on to option e as you can see the crescent is there but there is no the thin line attached to it here or uh, here we can see the thin line is on the top which is not attached to the crescent so this means that it's not of the same appearance so we should rule out option e so I'm ruling out option E as well. Okay, now let's move back. Now we have three options left, A, B and C. As you can see, the same size should also be there. So when I look in the size here, the dotted line is very small. So it means uh, we can rule out option A as well. Now we have only B and C left over. So as you can see uh, here, the crescent should have a thin solid line instead it has a big black line in the middle which means this can also be ruled out so we have left out with option c and that's the answer c is the answer and let's check for the similarity as you can see we can we have a solid black line here and we have a dotted line both are of the same shape and size as well and you have a thin uh, line with the crescent in the middle and that is also there. So this is the similar figure with respect to the question and so C is the answer. Let's move on to question 2. So this is your question. If you want to try on your own with the help of the first uh, example then you can try or else please continue watching. Alright, have you heard of mirror images? You know how a mirror image looks like? See, a mirror image is, if this is the mirror and you have two, uh, a rod with a circle on one side and a triangle on the other side, okay, then how this will look on the other side of the mirror is that the right side will appear in the left. So the circle will be here and the left side will appear as a right side image. So left and right moves vice versa. And this is how the, it appears in the mirror line. All right. So with this in mind, let's look at this question. As you can see, I consider a mirror line here. I consider a mirror line here. So which means the, the right side pointed in should be on the left side. All right. And here the right side is a black shaded part and this should be on the left side. All right. So be these two are mirror images. Fine. So let's check the same here. Here 
you have the right side black black on the top and white on the bottom same way it should be on the left side right so you, I, I can see a black on the top and left white on the bottom let's check the same in the below figure here what is the shape on the right side is on the shape on the left side all right so these two are mirror images we need to find a similar figure which has the exact mirror image like this okay so when you look just by looking you can see option b you can ignore option b you can rule out option b the reason is when i look at this mirror line okay here you have the black triangle but it should be the black triangle on the other side of the mirror but it is white triangle so we can ignore this option b fine now let's look at option c here when i check the mirror line all right when i look at this mirror line the one that is on uh, on the right okay the one that is on the right we have a black triangle on the top and a white triangle on the bottom but this one which is on the right should be on the left all right so this should have a black triangle on the top and white triangle on the bottom but this is not so this is wrong and i can rule this option so option c is ruled out all right let's move on to option e so when i look at this option the right side should be on the left side it is not the same because here it is black and it should be black here on the left side it is not the same all right so i can rule out option e as well fine now let's move on to option a okay so you can see the small circle here uh, the right side you, i can see white color this should be on the left side so left side should be white but it is not it is black so i can rule out option a as well so i am left out with option d and d is the answer and so let's check the similarity as well okay so when i draw a mirror line okay i can say this right triangle is white so which means the mirror image the left should have a white and it is there it is white in color same way the pointed arrow on the right should be on the left here same pointed arrow so i can safely say this is option d and that's the answer thanks for watching